Want to speak real Japanese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at JapanesePod101.com. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Japanese Top Words. Today, we are going to do 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's start. ありがとうございます。でも、実は私、ネイティブスピーカーではないんです。Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. ありがとうございます。でも、実は私、ネイティブスピーカーではないんです。Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker actually. お本当にすっごい日本語上手だね。わあ、びっくりした。うまく話せるようになるのに1年しかかかりませんでした。It took me only one year to become fluent. うまく話せるようになるのに一年しかかかりませんでした。It took me only one year to become fluent. 本当にえー、すご三年間でネイティブスピーカーのように日本語を話せるようになります。I'll speak Japanese like a native speaker in three years. 三年間でネイティブスピーカーのように日本語を話せるようになります。I'll speak Japanese like a native speaker In three years. おおいい志だすごい頑張れ応援してる10年間日本語を勉強してきました I've been learning Japanese for 10 years 10年間日本語を勉強してきました I've been learning Japanese for 10 years おーすごい継続力は継続は力なり字幕なしで日本の映画を見ることができます。I can watch Japanese movies without subtitles. 字幕なしで日本語の映画を見ることができます。I can watch Japanese movies without subtitles. えー、すごい新しい日本語の単語を1日55ぐらい覚えることができます。I can memorize around 50 new Japanese words a day. 新しい日本語の単語を1日55ぐらい覚えることができます。I can memorize around 50 Japanese words a day. <笑>本当にちょっとその才能をください。日本語以外にもいくつかの言語を話すことができます。Apart from knowing Japanese, I can speak a few other languages as well. 日本語以外にもいくつかの言語を話すことができます。Apart from knowing Japanese, I can speak a few other languages as well. えぇ、ー、え、何語が喋れるのすごいね。独学で日本語を勉強しています。I'm learning Japanese all by myself. 独学で日本語を勉強しています。I'm learning Japanese all by myself. おぉ、素晴らしい。絶対上手になるよ。話していたことは全部わかりました。I completely understood everything you said. 話していたことは全部わかりました。I completely understand everything you said. 京都弁を話せます。I can speak Kyoto accent. 京都弁が話せます。I can speak Kyoto accent. おいでやす。Thank you for watching everyone. 何か日本の人と喋ってて驚かれたことはありますかもしあったらぜひコメント欄で教えてくださいじゃあまたね Don't forget to subscribe ほなさいなら Hi everyone! Welcome to the Japanese! <笑> Why you are very safe? I just don't like it Hi everybody, Hiroko here Welcome to Ask a Teacher Where I want to ask you some of your most common Japanese questions The question for this lesson is How do you say sorry? Sorry is sorry 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 How do you say someone else wants to do something in Japanese if you don't use the Thai form? You may have already learned that to add Thai at the end of Japanese verbs to indicate that you want to do something, for example, nomitai for I want to drink and tabetai for I want to eat. So, how do you say what someone else wants to do in Japanese? If you are talking about what someone else wants to do, you have to use the ending garu. Or a phrase to quote someone's thought like to omotte imasu, meaning think that. Let's go through some examples so you can learn how to say what someone else wants to do correctly. 
Let's say your female friend wants to go to the zoo. You might say, 彼女は動物園に行きたがっています。She wants to go to the zoo. Remember, in this case, you need to use がっています instead of just がる。However, you can also use たい to describe what someone else wants to do. For example, 彼女はお昼にカレーが食べたいと思っています。She wants to eat curry for lunch. In this case, you also add と思っています to quote her thought. It would literally translate as she thinks she wants to eat curry for lunch. If you want to ask someone directly if they want to do something, you can use tai as well. For example, if you want to invite your friend for a coffee, you can say コーヒーが飲みたいですか Do you want to drink coffee? But a more natural way to invite someone would be, コーヒーはいかがですか How about a coffee? How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. またね When learning a new language, it's easy to think, I don't think I'm making any progress. What if I never reach my goals? We all get these thoughts from time to time. But are they worth being scared of? What are the fears language learners tend to have the most? And how can you learn to overcome them? Here are the top four language learning fears, according to our users. Number one, I'm not good enough to start speaking yet. This is a pretty common fear or misconception that most learners have. Here's how you overcome it. The best way to get good at speaking is to start speaking from day one. You need to open your mouth and just start talking. If you think you're not good enough, just focus on the lines you want to say. Number two, I'm afraid I'll never be fluent. You've got to set small, specific goals. Make daily goals, like having just a five minute conversation. As these small goals add up, you'll be speaking more comfortably. Number three, I'm not making any progress. There are two things you can do right now. Use the dashboard to track your progress. Our dashboard shows how much you've accomplished. Or try a harder lesson on our website. The lessons come with line by line translations, and the hosts explain everything. Now you can understand something you didn't minutes ago. Number four, I'm afraid of not understanding anything I hear. This fear can occur when you hear advanced grammar and vocabulary and it just goes completely over your head. To beat this, simply read along with our line by line tool. It's the best way to instantly understand advanced conversations. Translations and scripts are right in front of you. For real life situations, learn useful phrases such as, Can you say it more slowly? I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with saying that you didn't understand something. So, these are the top four fears and how to overcome them. Luckily, we also have the perfect tools available to help you conquer your fears. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Don't let your fears stop you. Start learning now! Hi, guys! It's Risa. Today, you are going to learn top 10 Japanese slang words. Let's do it, do it. Yabai, risky. Wow. Yabai, yabai, chikoku so. Kono yabai wa irona toki ni irona situation de tsukaeru no de. So desu ne, tatoe wa ii toki no yabai mo areba, honto ni abunai toka, honto ni warui toki no yabai mo aremas. Ii toki no yabai wa yabai mi tae na kanji. Naka sugoi ja mi tae na kanji de. 悪いやばいは、やばえ良くないねみたいな意味合いで使ったりします。マジで ?Seriously? マジで ?Seriously? ねえ、世界一周旅行があったったよ。マジで ?I have a big backpack. うわー、うわー、うー。超、very。超、very。超、超、超。いい感じ。超超超いい感じ。超超超超。あ、very very 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 超超。何のだかわかんない。超超 means not very very。超超 means butterfly
cho o cho cho cho. Very, very. This is a box. Cho semai. Mecha. Very. Mecha. Very. Tafe tabe yo. Itadakimas. Mecha mo. Very tasty. Chalai. Flirtatious player. Chalai. Flirtatious player. Ah, あの人かっこいいけど、でもチャラいから苦手。いやだ。No way。いやだ。No way。明日学校行きたくない。いやだ。いやだ。バイト。Part-time job。バイト。Part-time job。バイトを探す。バイトはアルバイトの省略形です。腹減る。I'm hungry。腹減る。I'm hungry。ああ、今日何にも食べてないから腹減ったよ。あんまり女の子は使わない方がいいです。女の子は使わないでください。ちょっとお下品な感じです。女の子が使ったら。はい。ひどい。It's terrible, you mean. ひどい。It's terrible, you mean. 内緒で私の取ってたアイスクリーム食べたでしょ。ひどい。アイスくれ。最高。Best, coolest. 最高。Best, coolest. 明日から休みだぜ。最高。もうすぐ富士山の頂上だ。もうすぐ、もうすぐ、つ、ついた、最高。Okay, that's all for today. いろんなスラングの言葉があるので、今日習った言葉を日本の友達に使ってみたらどんな反応されるか楽しみですね。それではまた、バイバイ。くまさん、くまさん、がめで。Wanna speak real Japanese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at JapanesePod101.com. Hi, everybody, Hiroko here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Japanese questions. The question for this lesson is How do I express gratitude in Japanese correctly at work? There are so many ways to express gratitude in Japanese. お疲れ様でした。ご苦労様でした。お手数をおかけしました。How do you know which ones to use and when? These expressions are all used for appreciation, but there are distinct differences. Let's go over them one by one. The phrase, お疲れ様でした is used to pay respect to someone who worked hard or did a good job. It's a phrase used amongst colleagues and co workers casually or humbly with people in higher positions. It shows respect for everyone and the work that they do. The phrase, ご苦労様でした On the other hand, it's used to recognize the efforts of someone in a lower position than you. For example, you can use it when receiving a package from a delivery person at your house. As a customer, you're considered to be in a higher position. Lastly, we have the phrase, お手数をおかけしました This phrase is also used to thank people for their efforts. But has an apologetic tone as if someone put in a lot of effort to help you. It can often be used with an apology. Let's go through some examples so you can learn how to use these phrases correctly. First, with お疲れ様でした部長会議はもう終わったんですかお疲れ様でした。Oh, department chief, has the meeting finished already? You must be tired. Here, a person in a higher position is coming back from an important meeting. Therefore, you are showing respect for his or her hard work. Now, let's do an example with ご苦労様でした配達ご苦労様でした This phrase literally translates as Thank you for your work of delivery. Here, you are appreciating the work done by the person who has delivered your package. Again, as a customer, you are in the higher position. Last, let's do an example with お手数をおかけしましたお手数をおかけし申し訳ありませんでした This phrase literally translates as I apologize for bothering you and giving you some extra work to go through. Here, you are recognizing the effort someone went through a lot to help you. Once you start getting the hang of Japanese, you realize that a simple arigato is really not enough to get your point across. Although none of these phrases are required for any situation, 
Learning the nuances and appreciating the meanings bring you one step closer to really understanding Japanese. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Mata ne! Hi everyone! Mina san, o genki desu ka? Have you ever exchanged a business card? If you want to make a good impression, it is important to know a custom on how to give or exchange business cards here in Japan. Let's learn how we do it today. Kore wa meishi to yimasu. Meishi means business card in Japanese. It's not just a piece of paper with contact information, but something you need to treat carefully to show your respect for someone you get a card from. これは名刺入れと言います。名刺入れ means business card holder. This is a wallet for business cards. Japanese business workers have it. When to exchange business cards? When you meet someone for the first time, you exchange your business cards at the beginning of the meeting, not at the end. We usually exchange business cards while standing, so make sure to be prepared. How to exchange cards? 1. Hold your card with both hands, making sure to have the card face toward the person you are going to greet. 2. Give yourself introduction briefly, your company name and your name. 3. Slightly bow and exchange cards. 4. Use two hands when accepting a business card. 5. After sitting at the table, put the card on your card wallet. Don't put the card into the wallet or pocket right away. 失礼します。こんにちは。あ、あ、すいません。あ、ありがとうございます。ブー。If you're visiting the company, you should give your business card first. こんにちは。イノベーティブランゲージのリサと申します。よろしくお願いします。When you do simultaneous exchange, it is a little different.Simultaneous exchange is called 同時交換.When exchanging cards at the same time, use your right hand to give your card and receive card on your left hand. Now, let's look at the situation of us exchanging cards. では、よろしくお願いします。あ、あ、あ、ブー。同時交換の時は、両手で相手に名刺を渡すのではなくて、右手で渡しましょう。ラララカンパニーのリサと申します。ははは、コーポレーションのゆうきと申します。よろしくお願いします。ますははは、コーポレーションのゆうきさんですね。はいララララカンパニーのリサさん。はい、よろしくお願いします。These are the key words and phrases for today. 名刺、ビジネスカード。名刺入れ、ビジネスカードホルダー。会釈、not。同時交換、simultaneous exchange。会社名、company name。訪問者、visitors。Click on the link in the description to fully understand Japanese body language and discover meaning of Japanese gestures. How was it? Now you can do Meishi Kokan, which means exchange business card in Japan. Good luck! If you have anything you want us to make a video about, please let us know in the comments. Bye bye! <laughs> Hi everybody, Hiroko here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher where I'll answer some of your most common Japanese questions. The question for this lesson is What's the difference between shiru and wakaru? Both shiru and wakaru can be translated as to know. So, how do you know which ones to use? Let's go over the differences together. Shiru is used when you gain new information or knowledge. Wakaru is used when you understand, grasp, or comprehend something. It's also used when you discover something, make a judgment, or decide on a solution. Let's do some examples so you can learn how to use Shiru and Wakaru correctly. First, let's do an example with Shiru. Eki made no michi wo shite imasu. This phrase means I know the way or route to the station. In this situation, the route to the station is something you simply know. Shiru is an action verb meaning to learn or to gain something new. So when it's used to mean to know, you need to use it in the te form plus imasu, as in shitte imasu. 
Now, let's do an example with わかる。この文の意味がわかりました。This phrase literally means, I now understand the meaning of this sentence. In this situation, the speaker was unable to grasp the meaning of the sentence before, but now has complete understanding of it. That's why in this case we use わかる in the past tense, わかりました。To express that the meaning has already been understood. How was this lesson? Did you get everything? Make sure to visit j a p a n e s e p o d e 1 0 1 c o m for more practice. Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Mata ne! See you! Want to speak real Japanese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at j a p a n e s e p o d 1 0 1 c o m Hi everyone, welcome to the top words. It's Risa. Today, let's learn how to ask and give directions. Let's go! Nani nani wa doko desu ka? Where is the? Nani nani wa doko desu ka? Where is the? Doko in Japanese is where? Ginko wa doko desu ka? Where is the bank? Toile wa doko desu ka? Where is the toilet? Yubin kyoku wa doko desu ka? Where's the post office? Nani nani, ni i k a n a k t e wa i k e n a i no desu ga. I need to go to the. Ni i k a n a k t e wa i k e n a i no desu ga. I need to go to the. Kouba ni i k a n a k t e wa i k e n a i no desu ga. I need to go to the police station. Nani nani ni i k a n a k t e wa i k e n a i no desu ga. Toyu hu na hyogen da to, doko ka ni i k a n a k t e wa i k e n a i You have to go. Toyu koto desu. Nani nani ni wa dou yatte i k i m a s ka? How do I get to the? 博物館にはどうやって行けますか How can I get to the museum? 博物館は museum. 美術館は art museum. この近くに何々がありますか Is there a near here? この近くに何々がありますか Is there a near here? この近くに図書館がありますか Is there a library near here? この近くはこの近く、あなたがいるところから近いエリア。で、あのあたりだと、around there。あなたとは少し離れた場所の、あのあたり。この近く、このあたり、あのあたり。すみませんが、何々がどこか知っていますか ?Excuse me, do you know where the is? すみませんが、何々がどこか知っていますか ?Excuse me, do you know where the is? あ、すみませんが、公園がどこか知っていますか ?Excuse me, do you know where the park is? 角に、at the corner of. 角に、at the corner of. この通りの角にあります。It's at the corner of this avenue. すみません、コンビニはどこですかコンビニですね。この通りの角にありますよ。あそこら辺、そうそうそう。左に曲がってください。Turn left, please. 左に曲がってください。Turn left, please. 二つ目のブロックを左に曲がってください。Turn left at the second block. タクシーに乗った時に、運転手さんに道を伝える場合、あ、ここから、この信号から二つ目のブロックを左に曲がってください。あ、すいません、運転手さん。あの、ここの信号から二つ目の先のブロックを左に曲がってください。OK! 右に曲がってください。Turn right, please. 右に曲がってください。Turn right, please. 三つ目の信号を右に曲がってください。Turn right at the third traffic light. あ、運転手さんすいません。三つ目の信号で右に曲がってください。OK! 一、二、予算。何々を過ぎてください。Go past. 何々を過ぎてください。Go past. ラブラブラ。Please, 教会を過ぎてください。Go past the church. あ、あそこの角にあるコンビニを過ぎてください。前に、in front of. 前に、in front of. バス停留所はスーパーマーケットの前にあります。The bus station is in front of the supermarket. スーパーマーケットがあって、その前にあります。That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video will help you. If you get lost in Japan, you can ask direction easily. Please don't forget to visit our website, j a p a n e s e p o r t 1 0 1 c o m and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 
Thank you. Bye bye. Tiri 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 tiri.